think from a football point of view, I think everyone felt that emotion in the first 20 minutes or so. We just a little bit lethargic, a little bit um, slow to get into the game. Um, I think from that point onwards, I think we scored around the 25th minute, I think it was. Um, not our finest goal, but uh, we'll definitely take those goals um, anyway to come. Um, yeah, and I thought, yeah, after that second half, especially, I thought um, it was more like us. Um, we didn't allow him to win time with the ball. Um, I don't think we really had a shot in the second half, I don't think. Um, and yeah, on the ball, yeah, we were at constant threat, we switched the ball well, we played through the lines really well, um, great chances, so um, we had two really good finishes um, as well. So, yeah, um, really, really pleasing. Summer Roberts got, got, gets uh, two goals again today. Um, talk about her performance today, really, and do you think she sort of showed, showed perseverance? In getting those two goals despite the sort of missed chances early on in the game. Yeah, definitely. I think with Summer, like she'll create chances for herself and she'll create chances for um, for everyone else within the team. Um, I thought today, um, the first twenty minutes, her uh, Shakira and Angel were our best three players. Um, every time we gave the ball into their feet or in behind, um, yeah, they caused they caused and through all kinds of problems that they have seen through all, all season. Um, I think it's probably the easiest goal this season, the first goal of the summer. Um, second one, really, really good play for myself, so a really good near post, near post finish from summer that we've been working on. Uh, summer not getting too, too ahead of the front post for those runs, and um, yeah, it's a superb finish, and she got one to disallow the hat trick and hit the bar as well, second half. So, um, yeah, summer, as well as everyone else, second half was, yeah, was, was really, really good. So you sort of end the season with a very strong home record. How important has the home form been to you guys? This um, sort of, you know, performances throughout the league this season. Yeah, I mean, vitally important. I mean, again, today, like, we might touch on a bit, but a thousand people here today, just over a thousand people. Um, it's what you play football for. Exactly why you want to have a thousand people supporting you and cheering you. Um, the crowd are really, really supportive as well, so um, it's not going quite our way. They're always helping support and, and cheering every, every, every action that we have. Um, and I think yeah, it's, a brand new, it's pretty much a brand new team from, uh, from last season, so you know, that's seven or eight new players um, to help gel, to gel those in, take a little bit of time and actually play at home in front of as the crowds get, get more and more. So um, yeah, it's a massive incentive, it's a massive plus for everyone. And we won't finish the interview uh, without mentioning a certain group sailor, which was today her last ever home game on the Champions ground. If you could sum up who Summer Roberts, not Summer Roberts, who Brit Sailor is, yeah. not only as a footballer, as a captain, but sum up what she has been, what she has meant to the football club and to you. General. Well, I think um, first and foremost, she was a massive driving, driving force of um, the merge between AFC Phoenix and Dulwich. Um, someone that sets standards um, and doesn't let anyone get away with that. So if anyone falls below those standards, um, then she's always there um, to ensure that those standards are there. Um, we feel like we've got a really good culture here at Dulwich um, within the squad and within the club, and she's a massive part of that. Um, on the pitch the last two seasons, I think um, she's yeah, changed positions a little bit and she's played a little bit further forward. Um, I think it was the last two seasons, last season she's got 11 goals and that four assists, and then this season she's on eight, so you never know, she can still get double figures this season, sort of hoping. Um, just yeah, constant professional, works incredibly, incredibly hard on the pitch, um, does all the rehab, does all the activation stuff. Um, all the younger players call her mother because um, she looks after them so well. Um, yeah, for me, yeah, she's going to be a massive miss. Like, she's someone who can um, always, she's always there to have a conversation with to lean on, whether it's something to do with football at the village or personal as well. She's the first person to ask how, how, her, day, how her day is. Um, first person to notice if anyone within the team is not quite themselves. Um, she set massive standards for everyone to follow, um, but she's 
hope this is an incredible legacy for us to continue for next season. Um, and I'm pretty sure she'll still be in and around um, Moran in the club, I hope, and uh, uh, always needs improvement in every aspect. So uh, well, I feel she'll be involved in that moving forward. But um, I think today was a, a statement sent off a thousand people to forget about our day. And on that note, we really appreciate your time. Thank you very much, and uh, congratulations on the win. Yeah, thank you.